All right, Shalom. Before I get started, I want to give all glory and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and safety to the Akim that's out here pushing his word in truth and sincerity, all right? But I just want to do a quick little lesson, all right, while I'm in the car. Um, and um, on the subject matter of it doesn't matter how many scriptures you can remember, all right? This 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 walk of ours is not about who 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 remembers the most scriptures. All right, remembering a bunch of scriptures is not what's gonna get you on a chariot. All right, and then, and then furthermore, on top of you got a lot of men, they can remember a lot of scriptures. They can break down this. They can break down that. They done did this and they done did this and. And been in jail and been locked up and all this shit. And then you know what? They when it comes down to take a correction and rebuke, they 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 just fold up like like some church um some goddamn um uh, family reunion um um pick up picnic chairs, man. Here it is. Every every other every week, you got men that have no problems going out to the highways and byways and rebuking the hell out of the two thirds and and turn and, and telling and telling. And telling the uh, world of their transgressions, all right. But then when it comes down to hearing your shortcomings, all right, it's like, nah, man, wait, hold up, wait a second, wait a minute, man, wait a minute. It's like, see, and that just go to show you, man, you got a lot of, you got a lot of, uh, you got a lot of fucking bullshit artists, man, in Israel. And, I, and I, this is talking about amongst the fold, man, because, see, the thing about it is, is that when it comes down to doctrine, that's when we jump on the cases of other camps, all right, because we're, we're set up as defenders. But it, but it, but when it comes to in, inside things amongst men, that, ain't, that, that, that the scriptures tell you about meddling in many affairs. But this is, I'm, I'm talking about men that, that are a part of our, our, our thing, man, all right, men that are supposed to be on one accord with us. And you got all these men, they, they can they can curse, curse you, curse, curse out the world and, and tell other men about their shortcomings and bring the law out and bring out accounts and bring out everything to make their point. But when you got any little point against them and, 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 and God forbid you be right, God forbid you be right. These niggas ain't hearing shit, man. All right. That's why the Lord, it, it's like it gets to a point where. I, you know what? When that famine of the world comes, that's when a lot of you niggas is gonna be put to death, man. Because your your position is just being, just basically contrary and being adversaries and being against the word is no longer needed, man. Your 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 services are no longer gonna be needed, all right? Because that's all you are. You're just you're just adverts to us, all right? You're the negative to our positive, all right? And that's the thing that kills me. Like I say, you got a lot of men, and like I'm driving, so this is just a this is just a spiritual rant, all right? Because this is just what I was thinking of as I was in the car. Is that you got a lot of men? They don't apply the scriptures. They could give, they could break down Daniel 11. They could go into the Hebrew, the Greek, the Latin, all right? They could break down um, um, deep sayings. They could do all that. But then when it comes down to you know telling a man to repent of his ways, they don't want to hear that shit. Because it's clear, it's like in these last days, the scriptures tell you in um in uh, 2 Timothy, I believe, that um that that men shall not endure uh sound doctrine in the last days, okay? Alright, and it's evident that we in those last days because men aren't enduring in sound doctrine. Alright? Here it is, like I said, they'll, they'll have a thousand and one breakdowns, but then they forget the breakdowns of of, of taking correction, taking the low. Alright? <coughs> Um, the, 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 the rebuke of, of rebuke of the of the wise is um better than the songs of fools. All those scriptures go out the window. Alright? You know why? Because you guys are bullshit artists. Alright, this thing of ours, it's about it's about this thing is not about just spewing out precepts. Okay? You got Edomites that could do that. Alright? Now before anybody gets silly, nah, do they bring the right um do they come in the right um, spirit? Of course not. But there's plenty of, of, of worldly people that could just, well, you know, they could just quote scripture for scripture like it's nothing. 
All right, because this thing is not, it's not about memory. All right, it's not about memorizing as much as you can. All right, it's about applying. That's what wisdom is. Wisdom is the application of the knowledge you get. And that just go to show you that there's a lot of fools in Israel. All right, that's why it's gonna be a beautiful thing to see when 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 that when Matthew's the 25th chapter comes to pass with the parable of the five foolish virgins and the five wise virgins. All right, because there's a lot of things that make a lot of you Israelites or you people that claim to be Israelite fools, man. A lot of you are just fools because, like the scriptures say, rebuke not a fool. All right, when you when you bring a little bit of rebuke, a little bit light. It's like, you know me, I have, I have a child and as a lot of men that probably have children, you know, you might have your son or your daughter and they do something foul or, you know, they might not listen to you. So you tap them, tap, tap. Like literally it's like that. You tap them, you tap them on the leg, you tap them on the arm and they just, they just, they just, they just fucking lose their goddamn mind. You be like, man, I ain't even hit you that hard. And that's a lot of you fucking men in this truth, man. You bring a little bit of rebuke. You bring a little bit of correction. And you just fucking bitch up. You just fucking bitch up like the bitches that you were. Here it is. You just tell them a little bit. All you got to do. The scriptures tell you that a righteous man fall of seven times. But you know what? The scriptures clearly tell you that knowledge puff it up. A lot of you fucking niggas. You think that you, you, the world revolves around you. All right? Especially you niggas here in Atlanta, man. Especially you fucking niggas that was around us in GMS here in Atlanta. All right, and if the fucking boot fits, it fits. I'm, I cannot wait till you how about shimmy I wish I start killing you pieces of shit, man. A little bit of correction come and you grown ass niggers act like some bitches, man. You just bitch all the way up, man. You just act like a goddamn emotional woman on a fucking period, man. And you niggas be wrong. You niggas be the wrong ones. You niggas ain't right, but then you don't want to hear shit. You you niggas you niggas when you niggas man when you meditate you better thank your how about shimmy how was shot that the Lord commanded us to be patient because I promise you I promise you if the Lord gave me green light I'm putting I would put hands on every last one of you motherfuckers man. All right and you know what I'm talking to a specific motherfucker right now. All right. Cause you, 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 you can't even take a little bit of rebuke and got the nerve to be, be, be been around, been in the truth for some time, man. You a bitch. All right. You a fucking bitch. And all those men, all those scriptures that you remember, it don't mean nothing, man. You're no different than a, than a nigga that don't know a goddamn thing, man. All right. All those scriptures, all that time that you put in was all for naught. All right. And the Lord going, yeah, how about Shem Yahweh Shah is going to destroy you, man. Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah is going to destroy you publicly. All right. Because you were doing a lot of fucked up shit, man. And here it is. You try to act like you just fucking innocent. All right. Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah, Shalak, Rayim, to all you niggas that it applied to. All right. And with that, I'm going to close up, man.